Paul. Yes. Uh huh. <laughs> says, complete your filing and service of documents within the time period required. <laughs> As in, there are certain requirements of a law that you cannot have court hearings without actual proof of service. <laughs> now, uh, these local rules of the court, if you uh -huh, need more information, you are advised to con com uh, consult with an attorney or a courthouse facilitator. <laughs> This manifest injustice of law enforcement refusing to enforce the laws. I do investigate every lawsuit. That would be every sheriff, under sheriff, deputy sheriff, jailer. Now, as soon as I'm able to use the judicial system of the United States, I'm going to get to suing. Yeah. Then I'm going to sue for the triple damages of every police and sheriff's department of the United States. Yes. And then I'm going to employ private investigators to investigate actually what you've been doing for the last 20 years and every time i have the evidence for another criminal complaint i'm going to be sure to sue you as the public now i've documented all i told you that i want my sons I said that I was going to employ approximately 600,000 private investigators <laughs> to have investigated, yes, <laughs> every individual in all of law enforcement, yes, approximately 1.2, <laughs> well, 1.2 million uh, individuals that have badges on <laughs> Department of Transportation, <laughs> Homeland Security, <laughs> United States Postal Service, <laughs> Why don't you just get me all of those that had sworn that they would support and defend the Constitution of this great nation? <laughs> it's a manifest injustice to not enforce the actual laws of the nation. Now, I wanted Marilyn to run that little company for me. Yes, I thought she was upset that police departments don't investigate fraud. <laughs> As if Mike Van Proyen was exempt from prosecution, that you wouldn't arrest him, and I documented that you sent my mail to that address for the last five fucking years. <laughs> now, uh, a motion of temporary... Oh, the Indian Child Welfare Act. Yes. <laughs> Surrender of deadly weapon. Expiration date. The order shall expire on the hearing date set forth above. <laughs> or 14 days from the date of issuance. Yes. <laughs> which is ever whichever is sooner now you can't issue this for longer than 14 days <laughs> this is like an emergency ex parte show cause hearing yes it is <laughs> but this concept of 14 days for a temporary protection order <laughs> you didn't really believe that was enforceable i mentioned the 48 days that you issued the temporary protection order in <laughs> 2015 <laughs> i think it's a, a manifest injustice right now i think it is <laughs> now you're trying to make Make it sound like I don't know what I'm doing, but <laughs> these videos, observations, and comments of the police activities, <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> these videos that you say that violated the community guidelines, <laughs> it's a manifest injustice on the part of YouTube <laughs> to delete any of the... <laughs> I'm sorry, Alphabet. <laughs> you are involved in the fraud, in the fucking fraud right now, <laughs>